Okay, thank you very much. Um, we're now moving on to the second. Um, I need to find, need to find the right agenda item four, which is um, an application for change of use from office <coughs> use to use as a health centre, demolition of existing garages to create car parking spaces and replacement of existing entrance doors with sliding doors and repainting rear elevation of community mural um, at Barton Neighbourhood Centre under Hill Circus. So if I could again ask Sean to present please, and then I know we have somebody speaking against and somebody speaking in favour of the application. Thank you. Just a few slides to explain the proposal to members of the committee. So the site location plan, you can see that outlined, outlining neighbourhood centre um, in Barton. This is the area of car parking uh, that you've also seen some reference to in the report. And the existing entrance, so that's where again you have seen there's a proposal for um, sliding doors. And this is the rear of the um, site where it's proposed um, to paint a community mural. Just touch on that, as you've seen in the report, if that uh, mural, as it's currently proposed, is simply painted onto that existing elevation, then it doesn't require planning permission itself. It's included within the planning application, but there's no, you can paint the exterior of a building without needing planning permission in effect. Um, and that's the proposal that's before us um, this evening. Uh, these are the garages to be demolished within that car parking space uh, to create additional um, car parking areas. And the proposed entrance will be there. So in terms of the change of use, this is the um, floor plan of the existing centre for the entrance lobby here and the small existing doctor's surgery there. These are offices um, that, as you've seen again from the report, are used by council officers um, at, at various times. But um, effectively, the reason this, is, this application is uh, considered acceptable is they don't directly employ people. There aren't people who are directly employed in those offices, so there's no loss of employment numbers from this um, application. And so the proposal is to extend out the doctor's surgery. And obviously that provides a community benefit for the larger doctor's surgery being provided or, or health centre being provided for the area. That's all I really have by way of instruction. Okay, thank you very much. So we have Mr Artswell who is going to speak against the proposal. Would you like to come up? Come up. Okay. And... If I can just remind you that you've got five minutes and Catherine will be timing and would you, would you like us to let you know when you've got a minute left? Okay, that's fine, thank you. First of all, point of order, I don't see it as a, a question of opposing, I see this as more of a question of helping the council spend almost a million pounds in the true interest of the people of Barton. So You're not being heard uh, You need to sit down. Speaker. Yeah. First of all, I just wanted to let you know that I see my, my decision here is helping this council to actually spend, which is almost 950,000, almost a million pounds in the interest of the people of Barton. So I don't like the terminology I'm opposing. I, I see myself as trying to help. I've, seen my, I've been told to say to you all that Barton needs a place to gather, that this 3.7 million pound regeneration plant doesn't provide that. And Mr. Knight, the warden of the church, has asked me to say this. The, sect, the people from the former Royal British Legion Association have asked me to say it. The football club, Mike, Mike has asked me to say it. ISIS Dance Academy, which is established in Barton for the last 30 years, and, and it only closed in 2011 due to the closure of the, the church hall there. Many young people have got alley classes and did opportunities in dance at ISIS Dance Academy and there's no longer no there because there isn't sufficient place to gather. Messy Jam, many of you might know Messy Jam, very successful, boys and girls of all ages go there, originally on Barton, haven't got a place to meet because there isn't sufficient place to gather. I've been asked to say this again and again and again, the people at Barton need a place to gather and they're furious that the amount of money which has been spent on what? You heard this lady say on cosmetic things in the neighbourhood centre when the real needs of Barton is for a place to gather. I've been asked to ask the 
to say to the Labour administration that I'm here to try to cooperate, to find a way to working with the council to spend this money in the interest of the people of Barton. We feel this really is an abuse, a malfeasance of the highest order. If this money is spent, this regeneration money is spent on the silly things that they just went through for the neighbourhood centre. We've lost three halls on Barton since 2011. Let me say that again. Three places, halls, that the cook really heavily used have gone. That's the Church Hall of St. Mary's, that's the Royal British Legion site, and that's the football uh, pavilion. You, uh, every Saturday there would have been weddings, there would have been birthday party, 18th, any type of celebration in the, the Royal British Legion where you could go and stay on this site and have your celebration. With the loss of those three places, we lost so much amenity that there isn't a place for the people to gather. That is why we're so opposed to this plan to what we see as a really good opportunity to actually give the people of Barton what they actually need, a place to gather so they can celebrate life's milestones. Barton Neighbourhood Centre, listen to me, used to have an IT suite with 12 places. You could go there, you could learn your, your word processing and all the other things. The secretary of the BCA threw it out in 2016. An area which is always deprived, described as deprived, doesn't have an IT suite. And this money could be an opportunity to restore that. And yet I see it wasted on to what, I, what we consider to be cosmetic inflated. We can't understand why is such a large amount of money, almost a million pounds, to be bet on a, a mural and some improvement. We feel this is a waste of money and it doesn't meet Barton's need, which is for a place for the people of Barton to gather. The officers and councillors seem to be spending more time worrying about the needs of the future residents of what they're calling Barton Park rather than taking care of the current needs of the people of Barton. Councillor Dees and others keep talking about the future needs, but what about the current needs? One minute left. Thank you. The consultation process, people, was an absolute joke. If you call having a consultation at the, at the Barton Batch, advertised the day before in the Oxford Mail, a consultation, and you all need shooting. But that is what it was. All the people I mentioned here would tell you that the consult they weren't invited to the consultation. I, who made strenuous any efforts through Miss Strong and others to be kept informed about this, wasn't. And I consider myself to be quite an activist. The, the consultation consulted the, 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 the neighborhood centre and the courtery of their friends. And that is why. The, uh, the, Many people feel that the, the current plan to spend uh, the, the, the regeneration budget in this fashion is, it has resulted in malfeasance and misspend of the highest order. And I wouldn't rest knowing that this money on Barton with 800 finished, with 800 young people, 800 under the age of 18, is spent in this manner. Please do not pay this money more. Could be, could be much better spent. Thank you for raising that. Very interesting. Would you like to? Would you mind going and sitting down back in the seat? I'll call you back up. Well, we've had um, Julia Castle, who's who's coming to present for the applicant. Sorry, did you did you want to say anything, or was this just? I just. Yeah, can I just say a couple of points, sure. please? Um, I wouldn't want to say very much. Just to say that it is um, part of the uh, wider regeneration programme that we're doing these works to the um, neighbourhood centre. And um, they include generally, um, by way of background, um, upgrading the sports hall, making it a lighter, brighter centre, um, and, and hopefully more welcoming, along with the extension to the GP surgery. Um, that's really all I wanted to say, and I'm happy to take any questions. Okay, thank you. So, let's just go straight into questions. Mary, I see your hand. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Art, well, do you want to come back while we do the questions? Um, okay, so I think Mary had a hand. Dick, were you yeah. looking in my direction? Yeah. Okay. It's specifically
specifically about um, the health centre. So presumably it will be expanding the number of consulting rooms and the capacity to see patients there. Is it for a name practice? Is it very known? Is it one of the, or what they call heading? Heading yeah. Heading yeah. So is it which is that is, okay. And so is that it's it's specifically that practice. Okay, I just wanted to clarify that, thank you. Okay. Um, yes, I think that's well, it, thank you, Chair. It's a very small question I hear what Art was saying there, but can I just make sure that we're not talking about any loss of community facility? I, I think I understand that it's not an not an increase in space for gathering and stuff like that, but is there any loss involved? The loss of purpose applications and loss of office space, so there's no loss of community facility um, under this application. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. If there's no more questions, can I ask you both to sit down, please? Okay. So, I mean, basically, what we're looking at is. Um, the loss of some office space within uh, Barton Edwards Centre to extend the facilities for the medical practice, which already has some, some space there. Um, the officer's proposal is that we approve the application and agree to delegate um, authority to the head of planning. So we've got Mary and Alex wanted to make a point. Yeah, I mean, I, I fully understand um, Artwell's concerns that there is a shortage of community space on Barnton. Um, obviously, some of the buildings that are closed have not been city council ones, like the Church Hall and the British Hill Legion, that have been beyond our control. Um, the difficulty is, and the temptation is to see an opportunity here but for, for another use, but all that I understand we can do is consider the application in front of us and the use that has been proposed. Um, now, particularly with the development of Barton Park and the need for, for more um, health services in the northeast of the city, I, I, I see this as very much meeting a need. It might not be the need that our world sees as a priority, but I know that if we had a service like this in Marston, they'd be, um, I'd be crushed in the rush for people to get there. We're so desperate for medical services there. Um, so I see it as, as very much um, needed at the moment, but of even more um, need <coughs> when Barton Park comes on, 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 on screen. So I would certainly be supporting it. Okay, thank you, Alex. Um, yeah, the, I made a comment in, in, on, on the uh, previous application that, that things get difficult when um, there's, there's a contradiction between two different planning boards. If there's no contradiction here, um, the proposal is entirely in line with our planning policies as the report says. So I think on that basis it's very difficult to see any reason to turn it down. Um, I would I sort of say as a, as a comment in response to what was uh, said during the uh, public session that of course I don't think a single one of the issues raised was relevant to this particular application um, and the notion that enhancing the uh, doctor's practice to provide better GP services and better health services on Martin and area and I'm talking about the current button, which has some of the worst health outcomes in the city, is, is malfeasance, is, is frankly bonkers. Um, so I'm um, delighted to be supporting this. Okay, thank you. David and Ben. Very briefly, Chair, thank you very much. Uh, I too will be supporting this. I think there's a clear need in the button area currently for more improved medical facilities as I was growing in the Oxford region, so I will be supporting this. Okay, Ben. Thank you, Chair. Um, I'm going through the, the document. Um, while as I was speaking, I thought there was going to be a loss of a community facility, you know, from what you're saying, but that's not the case. Document. And also considering, like, you know, I had said just then that Bath is an area of deprivation, but also serious health outcomes. And having a service of this nature in there. It's only going to improve access to the people in that community and provide something that really is not up to the standard that you might want in the 21st century. So beyond that, then we'll have to support the application. Okay, does anybody have any further points? Dick? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to 
just to really kind of reinforce what people have said, the question of how you spend regeneration money is a political question, it's not a planning matter. And uh, really, we're just being asked, we have to look at what's in front of us, which is, is acceptable in planning terms. And I'm sure that those concerns about loss of community facilities are dead right, and we're experiencing the same thing in county. It's a real issue which the county, the city needs to address, but this isn't the place to address it. Okay, does anybody have any further points to make? Okay. Well, I wasn't going to make any major point, I have to say, um, I'm proposing this, and I can just second that. Okay, I was, I, sorry, I, what I was going to say is we are, of course, um, voting on the proposal in front of us, and, you know, we, we do accept the you know, people have said we do accept the comments you made about loss of community facilities, but that's not what we're voting on. So could I ask, so we've got Ben has proposed, David has seconded, can I ask those who are in favour of accepting the officer's recommendations? Okay, and so that's passed. Thank you very much.